Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I am a veteran family therapist. I've been doing that for 31 years. During that time, I've specialized in learning to understand step families. There are millions of such families throughout our culture and the world. They're both the same as biological families, and they're very different in over 60 ways. Step families are prone to a great deal of stress and confusion. Over half, it's reported or it's theorized, over half in the United States end up breaking up psychologically or legally. That means a lot of heartache and a lot of stress. I've spent a great deal of time trying to understand why is this and how can these stress and breakups be prevented. One way that I propose is to accept without anxiety, without guilt, without shame, that you are a step family. Let me try and explain. There are many kinds of families throughout history, as you know. There are biological families, foster families, adoptive families, homosexual families, single parent families, uh, multi ethnic families, step families, uh, childless families. In order to identify, or to define what kind of a family are we or are you, it's useful to have an identity a descriptor that says this is the kind of family we are. We're a foster family or we are a step family. By the way, step means unrelated by blood. Um, as you may know, step family or the word the prefix step for many people in our culture has a negative connotation step implies abnormal, irregular, unnatural, and to some it implies second best or inferior. So step people, step kids, step parents are somehow less than their biological counterparts. There's no factual basis for that, uh, so it's really kind of an emotional association, which is harmful. The reason it's harmful is that People who are not aware and who are not self-confident and don't understand how normal they are try and avoid identifying themselves either within their own family or to the public. They avoid uh, acknowledging we are a step family. There are a number of wonderfully creative attempts by many well-hearted, well-meaning people to dodge this powerful adjective, step. Uh, what I've seen in my research is people have tried to call step families co-families, bonus families, fusion families, reconstructed families, reconstituted families. Um, a number of different creative ideas all aiming at trying to offset or minimize the unpleasant connotation, negative connotation, of step. I propose that this is harmful, potentially. Why? Because if you don't accept and broadcast with honor, yes, we are a step family, parenthesis, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're just as normal a family as anybody else. If you try to dilute or minimize or avoid identifying as a step family, you are at risk of thinking and feeling and promoting others to believe that you're going to feel and act like a traditional bio family. In one way, that's true. Step families, like bio families, are uh, adults and kids going about their daily business, filling needs, having problems, walking the dog, watering the plants, going to work, going to school, coming home, going to bed, bandaging cuts. I mean, step families are just like bio families in that respect. 
However, they are also, at the same time, different structurally and biologically, uh, uh, dynamically, in over 60 ways. What that means is, if you expect a step family to feel and act like a bio family, you're in for confusion, disappointment, frustration, hurt, and anger, meaning stress. Here's a couple of examples. Um, in bio families, members are supposed to love each other. If people assume that members of step families are supposed to love each other, that's unrealistic. Frequently, that's not true. Another example, if by avoiding step, you refer to a step parent as mom or dad, sometimes that's okay, sometimes it's not okay, because the reality is you're not my dad, you're my stepdad, and our relationship is different than bio child to bio parent. One last example, child discipline. If you assume that child discipline is the same in all families with minor kids, on some level that's true, on another level it is not true. Disciplining step families differs in almost 20 ways from discipline in intact biological families. So, if you deny or minimize your identity as a step family, and if you don't use appropriate step family titles, step grandparent, step sibling, etc., you run the risk of assuming that you're going to act and feel like a bio family that is guaranteed to produce significant confusion, stress, and conflict. If that's too much, too long, that promotes re-divorce. So, just to recap, it's useful to identify what kind of a family you are, because there are many families in our culture. Many people feel that step, step families, are negative and try to avoid acknowledging their real identity as a step family. This video is my way of strongly discouraging that and explaining that if you do, you're likely to have wrong assumptions which will create stress for everybody and lower the nurturance level of your step family. If you I encourage you to learn more about step families and how normal and how different they are. Study Lesson 7 in my nonprofit website at sfhelp.org and study the related Lesson 7 videos. Keep learning. Education is a major step family asset. Thanks for watching.